Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about One UI 7.0 Beta. It is incoming, and we have some major changes and features. In fact, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the five major changes, but first, let's talk about the release date. So, according to Ice Universe, the beta will be released on November 17th. It could be a few days early too, but it is going to be initially available in the United States and South Korea. Of course, it's gonna come to the S24 Ultra, so anybody that has an S24 Ultra, you can get the beta, but do be careful, the initial betas are sometimes very buggy. So you may wanna wait until the second or the third beta where the system stabilizes. So that's that, next week it's coming. Now let's talk about some of the big changes coming to One UI 7.0. Initially, I wasn't that impressed, but looking at these new features, I am actually very hopeful. So the first one is gonna be a dynamic island-like pill that you find on the iPhone on the top. On the One UI 7.0, this is gonna be a software feature it's gonna be at the bottom. So it is gonna be a pill, it's gonna be dynamic, it's gonna be for timer, music player, alarms, and stuff like that. Actually, we already have a dynamic island-like situation, even on One UI 6.0, if you look at this little timer widget. But right now, it is just for the timer widget. This concept is going to expand to multiple apps and services on One UI 7.0. So we can't really say this is a copy of the Dynamic Island because Samsung did have this timer pill much before the Dynamic Island was even introduced. Now the next thing that I'm interested in may have been copied from the iPhone from iOS and that's gonna be the brand new media player that is gonna be full screen on the lock screen. You can see the current version is a smaller widget. It is still a very nice widget, but it's a smaller widget. But because music is such an important part of a smartphone experience, I do like that we might be getting this larger media player on One UI 7.0's lock screen. So that is one of the other changes that I am really excited about. The next thing we're gonna be talking about is gonna be the animations. The animations are gonna be improved. They're gonna be more smooth. The transitions are gonna be improved. Again, they're gonna be more smooth. So the whole package of animations and interaction is gonna get an upgrade. So things will feel smoother and more refined than even it is right now, uh, hopefully, it comes close to iOS 18 levels, or let's just say iPhone levels, because when it comes to animations and smoothness and consistency, nobody does it like the iPhone. But this time, that seems to be one of the objectives. The next thing, the One UI 7 update for Samsung Galaxy phones and tablets is gonna bring improvements to circle to search feature, such as support for maths and physics. So just by circling a math problem or a physics problem, you are gonna be able to generate results. Who is not going to love that? So enhanced circle to search with the capability to compute physics and mathematics. And finally, something that's very important with smartphones is security. So it looks like One UI 7.0 is gonna bring even more security features. So right now, we have this auto blocker feature in One UI 6.0 with the maximum restrictions settings. And by enabling these, you're basically making your phone hack proof. So you have that available right now. But 7.0 is gonna add additional features under the maximum restrictions settings. It is gonna block connections to non-secure Wi-Fi networks. It is gonna block outdated 2G networks that make hacking easier if you accidentally connect to one of those guys, and a couple more other features. So expect to get even more security to fortify your Samsung Galaxy smartphone, okay? So that's what we're looking at right now. So that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.